We've been driving around, singing songs way too loud because we wanna. So it's Monday morning and I am going out to a closing for one of my great customers who just did something extremely exciting. Their home was finally finished. Brand new construction at Adele Webb. And if you're new here, say hi. Make a comment below and tell me if this is the first time you've visited this channel. So today I am going over the top 15 active adult communities in the state of Florida. So yeah, I'm gonna head over there and bring them a housewarming gift because it's such an exciting time when one, you're moving to Florida and two, you just completed a custom home in one of these great resort style communities. Okay, done with that. I'm back at the desk after my closing. Today, I wanted to break down what is considered the top 55 plus communities or resort style communities here in Florida. That's what you came here for. But before I do, you should really hit that like button. And look at this beautiful view. You know, people do love Florida because vitamin D is a really good thing, particularly from keeping you healthy so that you don't get that virus. Maybe that's why lizards like vitamin D so much and the sunshine. They never get the virus. Okay, let's dive into it. I'm going to give you the top 15, 55 plus active adult communities starting right now. So you can see what Florida has to offer you. Okay, let's address the elephant in the room. The villages. Everybody wants to know about the villages. So let's go there. I mean, you have heard of the villages, right? If you have, make a comment below. I would like to know how many of you have looked or considered the villages as a place to live and retire. Okay, let's first start with the location. It's in the middle of the state of Florida. So for all you beach lovers, it's probably not the community for you. But we're all created different, so maybe it is. The beach is not close by if you live in the villages because the villages in the, is in the middle of the state of Florida. So you're looking at an hour plus or more to get to the beach if you wanna stick your little toes in the sand. I will also mention, if you're not a Floridian, you probably don't know this, that being in the center of the state also does not offer you an offshore breeze. So it's a trade-off. The villages has a lot to offer, but you are not living on the coast. Now, if you'd like, Disney World, it's an hour away from the villages, so you can visit Mickey Mouse as many times as you want. Now this community is, quite frankly, a 55 plus community on steroids, and I'm not kidding. I find that most people either love it or they hate it. I mean, you are living in an entire community full of older people, a lot of older people. And the place is huge. It's like 33,000 acres. So if you wanna see a younger person or hang out with younger people, you're gonna have to make a long drive to get the heck out of there. But why would you leave? There's just so much to do. Okay, let's go over the basics. In the villages, they have six home collections. They range in size from about 1,300 square feet all the way up to 30. 500 square feet. So there's a little bit of something for everybody, for everybody's desires and budgets. I'm always very hesitant 
to mention price because it's all over the board. But I'm gonna say the mid to high twos is where you start and it can go up to over a million. The Villages is made up of numerous neighborhoods and each neighborhood has its own unique style and charm. And you can travel to all of the neighborhoods via golf cart. It's a big golf cart community. I'm gonna give you a pro tip. Not a lot of people are familiar with building construction in the state of Florida and the building code is different in each part of the state of Florida. In the villages, the code is not as strict as the building code where I live. I live in the Treasure Coach, which is considered South Florida. So in the villages, most of your homes will be predominantly of frame construction. In South Florida, they're predominantly concrete, which is a much stronger build. I also find that the style in Central and North Florida is different than the styles of the homes in South Florida. South Florida has more of a Mediterranean style, uh, coastal style uh, design of a home. I find that the construction in the northern part of Florida or the central part of Florida is has more of a northern flair. That probably has to do with the frame construction. Okay, so let's talk about recreation. It's pretty much endless in the villages. From tennis, pickleball, golf, they have over 2,400 clubs that you can join. So you'll have a very hard time figuring out what to do because there's so much to do. Speaking of golf, they have like 12 championship golf courses and I believe 41 nine hole courses. They also have three town centers. So you don't have to go far to get something to eat, to do your shopping. And each town center has its own style and ambiance. People really do love the town centers there. It has all of your creature comforts. Besides, it's a great place to meet your friends and hang out. As of 2019, I think the last recorded number of residents in the villages was 130,000. It's probably north of that now. And they call themselves the villagers. Rest assured, you can buy a beautiful home in the villages and enjoy recreation 365 days of the year. Okay, I said it was going over 15 and these are not in any order. So let's talk about the next community, number two, which would be On Top of the World. On Top of the World is located in beautiful Ocala, Florida, and you can enjoy pretty much all of the same amenities and features as you would at the villages, but on a smaller scale. On Top of the World has three golf courses for you to enjoy. They also have indoor and outdoor swimming pools, full-time lifestyle director, gyms, tennis, pickleball, bocce ball, shuffleboard. They have everything. They have over 175 clubs, so lots of recreation there. On Top of the World has 23 floor plans to choose from, covering just about everybody's budget from the mid twos to the millions and uh, smallest would be about 1,300 square feet up to about 3,000 square feet. They have 10,000 homes and on top of the world. Not exactly small, but smaller than the villages. I will also mention that Ocala is in the middle of the state of Florida, so beach lovers, don't cry. And next up, the villages of Citrus Hills. Located less than an hour from the villages, the villages of Citrus Hills is a Florida retirement community with single family homes and maintenance free villas. Villages at Citrus Hills is in the heart of Florida's nature's coast region. That puts it 10 minutes from the Gulf of Mexico beaches. They have four activity packed clubhouses four golf courses, two tennis centers, 
and pickleball courts. They also have three restaurants. So after you get through stuff in your face, you can go to their wellness center or their spa. Now in this community, they have 20 home styles and they range from about 1,600 square feet all the way up to 4,000 square feet. So they do offer some larger home sizes if you aren't downsizing. Base prices are higher. You're in the mid fours, again, up to over a million. Could be a great community for you if you're a nature lover, being that it's in the nature coast. Number four, Champions Gate. Champions Gate is a 900 acre master plan community located in the southwest section of Osceola County. Champions Gate is ideally situated with easy access to the Orlando International Airport and Disney World. And let's not forget Universal Studios. The 20,000 square foot Oasis Clubhouse features a huge resort style pool, as well as state of the art fitness center, tiki bar, movie theater, and volleyball courts. There's also an 18 hole championship golf course. Champions Gate has both condos, townhomes, and single family homes starting in the mid 200s. And it's perfect for someone that may want either a full-time home or a part-time home that's near Disney World. If you're a park goer, it's a good one to pick. Okay, so let's talk about the Valencia series. There are four of them that I'd like to mention. And one of them's in my backyard. The builder is GL Homes Communities and they have trademarked the Valencia name uh, around the resort style 55 plus concept. So the first one that I'll tell you about is Valencia Trails, which is in Naples, Florida. Valencia Trails offers the best resort style lifestyle with a magnificent 42,000 square foot clubhouse. Relax at the pool, grab a bite to eat at the restaurant, catch a show at the social hall. What's not to love about this community? you will find gorgeous contemporary single family homes in Valencia Trails. The builder offers brick paver driveways, impact windows all the way around, stainless steel appliances and concrete tile roofs, all standard. Not to mention those gas appliances. Homes start in the sixes and they go up and up, and up. Valencia del Sol. Located in beautiful Tampa, Florida, Valencia del Sol makes it easy to enjoy having fun in the sun along Florida's Gulf Coast. Valencia del Sol is very similar to Valencia Trails with most of the same amenities. Homes in this community start in the mid to high fours and go up as well. Now let's talk about Valencia Sound, We're going down South Florida, my territory. Valencia Sound is in Boynton Beach, Florida. With a 39,000 square foot clubhouse, you'll be wowed. They have Broadway shows, lots of entertainment. So it's quite glitzy. And with that being said, the prices start in the 900s. Well, you know, end up. And they have three stylish home collections to choose from. Okay, let's talk about Riverland. Now, Valencia Grove at Riverland is GL Homes' newest 55 plus community. Riverland's the main neighborhood and Valencia Grove is inside Riverland, which is inside Port St. Lucie. I have several videos on Riverland and you should watch them. As a matter of fact, I have lots of videos on 55 plus communities as well as regular neighborhoods here in the Treasure Coast. So consider subscribing to my channel if you would like to learn more about living in South Florida. 
GL Homes did purchase 4,000 acres and are in the process of developing all of that land. And their next neighborhood coming up will be Valencia Walk. If you're interested in getting in on that ground floor opportunity, you should definitely reach out to me directly and my contact information will be floating somewhere at the bottom of this video. Email is best. Homes in Valencia Grove range from the smallest at 1,355 square feet all the way up to 3,500 square feet. You are starting in the bid fours up to over a million and in their next community, I do expect the prices to be a little higher. Okay, that brings us to like nine now. Number nine would be Latitude at Margaritaville. Located in beautiful Daytona Beach, Florida. Latitude at Margaritaville is inspired by the lifestyle and music of Jimmy Buffett. Clubhouse amenities include a fully outfitted gym, spin room, aerobic room, virtual personal trainer, including Whirlpool Spa and Lap Pool. They also have their own private beach club. At last check, the prices in these communities started in the high twos and up from there. Latitude Margaritaville, say that 10 times fast. Latitude Margaritaville, water sound, it's a mouthful. This is Jimmy Buffett's second community. I guess the first one was so popular they decided to build another. Margarita Water Sound is located in Northwest Florida's Emerald Coast between Pensacola and Panama City. The list of amenities in Margarita Water Sound is almost identical to the location in Daytona Beach, so you can expect more of the same. Home prices in this community start in the high twos up to 600,000. Venetian Bay, number 11. Phoenician Bay is located in central Florida in beautiful New Smyrna Beach. This is another world-class resort style community. Play a round of golf at the 18-hole championship golf course or spend the day with your family at the beach and swim club. Residents also enjoy dining at an on-site restaurant. In Venetian Bay, you have everything from luxury estate homes to mid-size custom homes to duplexes. And prices, of course, are mid to high twos on up over a million. It's a wide range, so there's something for everyone. Okay, let's talk about the master planned community of tradition right in my backyard. Tradition is a master plan community in Port St. Lucie, Florida. The town center creates a natural community hub for residents to meet and socialize. There are extensive trails throughout the Tradition community connecting all of the neighborhoods with over 300 acres of parks. The city of Tradition is a master plan community and it has a wealth of neighborhoods to offer you many of which are 55 plus communities and several that are not. I have an excellent video on the city of tradition and I'm gonna put it up here for you. You should check that one out. Prices in tradition range quite widely uh, from the high threes all the way up to a million. Number 13, PGA Verano, also located in Port St. Lucie. PGA Verano is a gated resort style community. While not exclusively 55 plus, there is a 55 plus neighborhood with inside the gates of Verano. Verano features a 27,000 square foot social center with a state of the art fitness center and 27 pickleball courts. You will truly feel like you are at a resort if you live in PGA Verano. Now many of these 55 plus communities have become quite popular and many of them have waiting lists to get in on buying land and lots to, to build. 
PGA Verano is one of those. I do have a video on that as well. Make sure to subscribe to this channel and you can check all those videos out. You'll find the prices in this community also start in the mid fours up to well over a million. Number 14, Dell Webb. Dell Webb is a division of Pulte Communities that focuses on and developing 55 plus communities. And Dell Webb actually is one of the original pioneers of the 55 plus concept. They actually built the first 55 plus community 50 years ago in Sun City. So of course they do a great job. If you're looking for a resort style community with beautiful homes, you should certainly consider Dell Webb Tradition. They have a beautiful Key West style clubhouse with beach entry pool, state of the art fitness center and full time lifestyle director. Not to mention all those pickleball courts. You'll find the prices in this community also start in the mid fours up to well over a million. The Dell Webb Tradition location here in Port St. Lucie, Florida is getting ready to launch their last phase, phase three. If you'd like more information about that, reach out to me directly. Number 15, Esplanade. Discover an exciting array of planned resort amenities matched with beautifully appointed homes located right in the Treasure Coast. Esplanade is located in the master planned community of tradition where everything you could want or need is a short stroll or bike ride away. Floor plans in Esplanade range in size from about 1,600 square feet all the way up to 3,000 square feet. They have, of course, our concrete block construction. They are beautiful homes, Mediterranean style uh, architecture. It is uh, a smaller 55 plus community with 600 homes, so more quaint. You'll get to know your neighbors. It's a gated community with lots and lots to offer you, including a concierge service with towel service at the pool and a cafe. Well, I know that was a lot of information for you to take in. I hope it was helpful. If you learned a little bit of something or enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. It's greatly appreciated. And of course, if you haven't already done so, consider subscribing to this channel. I cover topics like this all the time, and I would love to have you as part of my YouTube channel. My name is Lisa Ammons. I'm a real estate broker here in sunny South Florida. I want to thank you for spending part of your day or night with me, and I hope I see you on my next neighborhood video. Take care.